in this video we are going to talk about how to publish in a q1 q2 journal from any discipline when there is a higher chance of ai detection in this ai era so many of my viewers asking me that how to publish in a good journal when there is always chance of finding higher ai detection in your manuscript so what is the topic or what are the field that is most likely you will give us an original contribution that can be published in a q1 and q2 journal so i'm going to tell you that secret in this particular video so without wasting any time let's get started my dear learners in this particular ai era there are so many ais where you can just command to write a research article the ai will write the whole paper without having any difficulties for example chat gpt deep deep seek uh, gemini any ai you can just command and it will produce a research paper this research paper is coming from whatever available online for example data literature review and all the information now when you are submitting this type of manuscript working with the ai then the q1 q2 journal will reject your paper immediately because there is no originality in your work these are all done by ai so how to solve this problem in my opinion and from my experience there are two field you can focus on in order to avoid this ai era problem and get a original contribution to publish in a good quality journal number one is systematic review and meta analysis the reason why that if you want to do a systematic review type of research article you need to download 50 to 100 articles and these are all genuine it cannot be possible by ai number one number two that when you are extracting the data from those 50 articles these are all evidence showing that these paper are the source of your data so you can share this data along with the research papers meaning that articles when you are submitting meaning that these are your original work that you have done and this is very important for the q1 q2 journal editor to know that this is a good original contribution so systematic review and meta analysis undoubtedly the best opportunity for you to publish in a q1 q2 journal easily no matter which discipline you are coming from so you can watch my systematic review and meta analysis videos to understand more about how to write a research article based on systematic review and meta analysis number 2 is the primary data use now for example the data set like secondary data set which are all available online that ai can extract very easily and you don't have to do anything ai can manipulate anything data and give you the results right but the researcher like q1 q2 journal editor they know that this can be done by ai so there is a no original contribution by you so in this case if you select a topic that is very niche meaning that your local area your local uh, laboratory or maybe in a local community where you are working and that type of data only you know it the ai does not know the information from those for example community development information rural area information for example local gdp information these information ai do not have it why because these are not online available free data source it is only collected by you so that kind of primary data when you are collecting and working with those kind of data and policy related paper then the q1 and q2 journal can easily publish your paper because this is a ground breaking original contribution so in order to avoid how when you are writing a manuscript and you are using ai there is no harm to use ai but nowadays all the things can be done by ai so what is your original contribution to get a publication in a q2 q1 journal in my opinion and from this video my two secret is use the systematic review and meta analysis as your title and topic in order to publish and get higher citation in a q1 q2 journal and secondly use primary data primary laboratory data or primary social community data where it is a niche topic local topic the secondary data are not available online 
you can use that data to produce a quality research article and data analysis and give some insights that can be published in a Q1 and Q2 journal. I hope these two important notes and suggestions might help you to get a good publication in a Q2 and Q1 journal and I wish you all the best for the next publication and I will see you in the next tutorial with more exciting information. Thank you so much.